Hey gang, Wisconsin lock man. I'm at a road tear out tonight, close to my home, so I figured I'd go out and hunt for a little while. We've covered uh, three blocks so far, and the last two blocks they just dug up today, and that's what I'm hitting on now. I found a little car and a, a few other items and a couple of newer memorial coins, but nothing too major yet. So as I get anything, I'll take a picture of it or video it and show you what I've got. And I'm also hunting with my Garrett's Apex machine. I'm running on the U.S. coins and jewelry mode. Sensitivity is two below the top. I've got the iron audio on number one, however it's off, unless I need it. So if I get anything, like I said, I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. Wisconsin Lockman again. Just wanted to show you a little bit of what street hunting is. They've got the whole street tore out. There's no uh, nothing on the sides yet that's tore out. The first thing when you get here is you want to hit these sides right along here and all the way up and then all these all the way back and you also want to hit see this pile up here that's the place that you want to hit with a pinpointer go through it good with your pinpointer because a lot of stuff you can't get with a metal detector a pinpointer will pick it up and the first thing you want to do is you want to search the street this is the very first thing that you want to do because they got the blockades behind me. This is the first thing that's going to get ripped up. All of this. The sides will get later on. So you've got time to hit the sides. But the first thing you want to do is hit this along the edges, along the edges here, and up the center, back and forth, back and forth. And work the street the whole street like that and then when it comes time to do the sidewalks when they pull sidewalks out and the boulevards then you'll have time to hit this area up here where the sidewalks and the boulevard are see and up here there's no boulevard on this street on this house right here so I'm not sure there's no sidewalks anywhere along here so I'm not sure what they're going to do, whether they're going to put sidewalk in or just leave it at the street. So just wanted to mention that for those people that do road hunting. Also, one thing I want to mention is don't get into a construction zone until the flags are up. When Digger's Hotline comes through and puts all the flags up and marks all the areas where the pipes and everything are, then it's you've got an idea of where everything is so you're not going to hit something when you're digging so any questions you can get back to me on it and i'll be here for a while if i get anything i'll get back to you thanks for watching and happy hunting another thing i want to mention is the difference in the dirt Right here you can see the black dirt and stuff from the road in the boulevard or the uh, edge of the sidewalk and the curb and gutters. This here is fill that was brought in. You can search that but don't think you're going to find a lot in it. This is the kind of areas that you want to search. These clumps of grass and the boulevard and along the edge of the street. And you want to do it when they're not working never be in a construction zone when they're working it's an easy way to get kicked out of here and it's an easy way to get closed down for metal detecting on street and uh, sidewalk tear outs so just to give you a word of advice don't be in here when they're working do it afterwards when they shut down thanks for watching wisconsin lockman here I uh, got into the next block and I got a nickel signal and I'll turn this around and show you what I got. A 
buffalo, buffalo nickel. I don't see a year on it, but that's, it's pretty worn. But anyway, I'll be here for a while. If I get anything else, I'll let you know. Well, gang, Wisconsin lock, man, calling it a night. It's going on 10 o'clock. I'll hit her tomorrow after they get done digging again. So I guess I'd finish up and show you what I have tonight. I got a toy car for memorials. Uh, one of those spacer tools. A regular clad dime that cover I'll do some checking on it see what it is yeah and I got Buffalo Indian head and two wheat pennies tonight so I get them all cleaned up and I'll post a picture of it thanks for watching Okay, gang, Wisconsin Lockman here. I found the in, or the buffalo nickel right here, and I just uncovered right here this. And it looks like an 1893 Indian head. So I'll be here for a while. If I get anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.